This week on Pure Brews, a season finale so full of awesomeness that it's ready to explode. <laughs> we check out a sea of barrels at New Holland, plus we visit a Detroit original at Motor City Brewing Works. Today we are at New Holland Brewing Company, home of Dragon's Milk. And of course, they have a giant dragon. Yeah, it makes sense. And she is the queen distiller. She's the breaker of variation. She, what is going on? Oh gosh, I'm going to drink. Yeah, that's a good idea. All across America, the craft beer industry is exploding. I'm Ryan Terpstra, professional beer lover. And I'm Shannon Long, founder and CEO of Brew Export. Let us be your tour guides behind the scenes where we will meet the key players and the beer makers and learn how they turn their dreams into reality. We'll be traveling across the state to introduce you to some of Michigan's best beers. It's a craft beer revolution on Pure Brews America. I moved here two years ago and I will never leave. I'm just loving it. Well, I've been coming here for years, since before they were in this building when they had a little brewery, teeny brewery, far away, or on the other side of town. And so it's good to see them be big and I do, I love it. You know, when we started the brewery back in 96, we started because we thought there was a void of well-made, well-constructed, full-flavored beer. And we started out uh, to kind of fill that void, and we thought we could do some things differently. Brett is not kidding. New Holland Brewing is known throughout the industry for their signature styles, from their Mad Hatter series, to their craft spirits, their sour collection, and of course, Dragon's Milk. A beer so good, they have people driving across the country to get it on tap. Mason, tell me where you came from. You're at New Holland Brewery. You're not from around here. San Diego, man. San Diego, California. And you drove out here, yep. and you're drinking beer here. Why are you drinking beer here? I'm drinking beer here because I actually work for a convenience store that specializes in craft beer. I'm a big fan of barrel-aged beer, so I had to give Dragon's Milk a shot, and it, it blew me away, honestly. Like, it stood out. It's unique. The journey to Michigan was long, but it was well worth it. And your guys' beer is awesome. It's cool to see the movement all the way, like, out here and just thriving. Dragon's Milk is one of the few bourbon barrel-aged beers that you can find all year long on Meyer store shelves. But we had to know, where do they keep all the barrels filled with beer? Well, I brewed the first batch of Dragon's Milk back in 2001, and it started out with just one barrel. We didn't have a big room like this, it was just tucked in a corner, and it's just organically, slowly grown. Then over time we said, wow, we have something here, the fans were starting to kind of line up for it. We tried to just find more space. We realized climate control was really critical to the quality of the product, uh, so we started making more and more investment to do it right. So we have a total of 12,000 square feet that we can dedicate to Dragon's Milk. Right now, Dragon's Milk is in these tanks and we've got to get it into the barrels where it's going to sit for three months and soak up all that bourbon amazingness that we know and love. Yep. So I think we've got Mark, Jason, and Shannon. We're going to fill, we're going to fill these guys. We can go ahead and do this one. So we got an empty uh, oak bourbon barrel. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're just going to Take this valve. You're gonna squeeze it, turn it, and then it'll yep, and then it'll uh, it'll start filling up. Oh my gosh! I could just sit here all day smelling that. Do you do that? Do you just sit, sit here and sniff barrels? Oh my god, that smell! You can literally smell it like pouring out of there. We're getting close. So you just twist that or pull. So as it as it comes up, you're gonna wanna you know get the valve ready to cl close fairly quickly. What happens? Oh gosh. I missed that split second. Yeah, it's it's moving yeah, pretty pretty fun. fast. So the answer on filling barrels is carefully. Unfortunately for New Holland, I'm not always a very careful person. Been there. New Holland has a wide variety of titles outside of Dragon's Milk, and they have Fred Biltman, whose goal is to bring the good word of craft to the masses. So they call you the beer evangelist. Can you tell me a little bit of 
how you got that title. We in the craft industry were really trying to change the world and try to bring flavor to a place that lacked it. So I just thought about what is it we're really doing and how could I say that in a more lighthearted, fun way. And I just kept coming around to the fact that we, our mission is to bring beer to the people. So I uh, made up Beer Evangelist and uh, you know, you're not supposed to make nicknames for yourself, but I considered it a job title. So I think yeah. it's legal. And they're kind of stuck as a moniker and it's something that I've been uh, working under ever since. Final stop at New Holland, we headed to their pub on 8th Street where Bertha Brewer wanted to make a beer in our honor. And a month prior to our visit, he and I started up a cherry wood smoked porter. So there's the blend. So all of it's from Michigan. This is all in Michigan. You love your Michigan ingredients, Joe. Yeah. yeah. You only use Michigan ingredients. 100%. Let's get working. Okay, we'll get this thing going. I'll show you the technique and we'll get cracking. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, time to use the muscles. <laughs> yep, you don't need to join a gym when you're doing this. No. No. All right. You're probably a lot faster than me at this. <laughs> yeah, but I've done it about a million times more, too. All right. I okay. think we got everything good. All right. So this is our work coming through yeah. right now. This is what we call first runnings. See all the junk? That is so there? dark. That looks like a nice dark, dark roast coffee with chunks in it. We are utilizing a hop that's grown up in Michigan by uh, Empire called Brewer's Gold. My guess is we're probably going to end up around uh, eight, eight and a half barrels. So like about probably 250, 260 gross. So, yep. Bert, thanks so much for letting me brew with you today. Let's uh, move the smoke porter to the fermenter. All right, let's go. All right, guys, it's been a great day at New Holland. We've got the crew together. We got JP, we've got Bert, and we've got some beer. We don't just have any beer. We have the Pure Brew Smoke Porter, brewed by Bert and I. Well, cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. After the break, it's time to see what's happening at beer school. You told me a year ago, people I would have you know, met the things I've done in just a year's time, I, I told you there's no way. And then we crank up the music at Motor City Brewing Works. Come and enjoy. But don't, you know, I don't want it to get too popular. It'll get crowded there. <laughs> Stay tuned, more Pure Brews America coming up.